What we're just going to do in the back end is simply get the list or a list of all friends of this particular user. And we're just going to fetch each and every post that, that this, this user has published. And then we'll order all of these posts in the in order of created at. And then we'll just create a collection of all these posts and send back to Vue.js when it requires that. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a controller that's going to do this for us. So we'll say PHP Addison make controller feeds controller. Okay, and if we head over to that controller, something we'll obviously need in this controller is the app user class, and they would also use the table, the post table. Okay, so first thing we want to do here is actually create a method which is going to return us the feed. So we'll say public function and we'll call this feed. And uh, this feed is simply a collection of all posts. Okay, but it's going to be a collection of posts of all the friends of that authenticated user. Okay, so first thing is to get all the friends of this user. Okay, so we'll say friends equals authenticated users friends. Okay, and uh, right here, I'll just go ahead and use auth facade. And uh, if I take you to my friendships thread, a friendable thread that we created together. So right here, I think we have a friendship, a friends method to get all the friends of that particular user. So right here, we're fetching all the friends of that user. And uh, once we get all the friends, we are returning an array of all the friend instances. So right in our controller, we have now a list of all the friends of that particular user. Okay, the next thing is to loop through all of these friends. And for each of these friends, we're gonna push all of his posts to an array, okay, to the feed. So we're just gonna say feed is equal to an empty array. Okay, so for each, friends as friend and for each each of these friends have a relationship with the post table so in our user.php right here we discover that we have a post method and this defines our relationship for each user who has many posts okay so we'll use this to get all the posts for that particular friend okay so what we're gonna do here is have a nested for each okay so because right here we are able to access all the posts for that user and it's going to be in an array so right here, we're going to loop again through that array so that we push to our feed right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is another for each loop and we'll say n for each and we'll loop for each of the friend post as post. So we are looping through each of the friends post and uh, right here, what we're going to do is simply push that post to the feed. So we'll say array push and we're going to be pushing to the feed array. And what we're going to be pushing is the post. Okay, so we're gonna have finally an array of all the posts for the friends of that particular user. Okay, so what's going on here? We have a list of friends for a user, and for each of those friends, which is an instance of the user class, we have a relationship with the post table, which is gonna give us the list of posts that that user created. So for each of those posts that we have in that collection, we're gonna push that post to the feed. So right now we have an array of all the friends posts for that particular user. So what we're going to do is simply return the feed. Okay. So no need for us to edit anything right here because obviously this is already converted to a response by Laravel. So that's coming out from a controller. Okay. In our web.php, we need to set up the routes. Okay. So we're going to set up that route where the, the Vue.js can request for the user's feed and we'll give it to it. Okay, so right here, I'll just write that here. So I'll say this will be feed, the feed endpoints, and this controller is gonna be the feed controller. And uh, right here, the method is called feed, and I'll just say call it feed, even though we're not gonna use it. Okay, so that's a get method. Now we need to go to our view components, and well, we need to get this data. So in our view component that we created, which is the feed.view, right here, as soon as our component is mounted, we're gonna call a method, and this method is gonna be this dot get feed. Okay, and uh, we're gonna create this method. So we'll say methods, and that's an object. And we will define our method. So get feed right here. So you see, when we continuously use Vue.js, it just becomes a one and the same issue. Okay. So that's what's so fundamental and nice about Vue.js because every single one of these components, we just write out the template. We just say what it does once it's mounted and we just define methods and it's just that easy. Okay. So let's define this method. Again, it's going to make an Ajax request to the server and this is going to be a get request right here. And it's going to go to the slash feed like we defined. 
and as soon as we get the response right here we'll have a callback and uh, we'll just say response so once we get the response what we're gonna do is actually push this to an array in our store okay so we'll just call we'll just create an array in our store so right here we have notifications we'll create one for post and this is also gonna be an array so in our view component since this view component is registered with our view instance right here so it's a child of this particular view instance right here we have access to the store okay so what we're gonna do is for each of these posts in this response we're gonna push to the post in our store array okay so this means we need a mutation because remember mutations are the only thing that can actually edit or change our store so we'll go ahead to our store and we'll create a new mutation okay so the name of this mutation is gonna be obviously at post so right here we'll say add post and uh, it's gonna take the state which is the store that's gonna change and uh, it's also gonna take the post we're trying to add so we'll say state dot post dot push so we're pushing to this array and we'll push in the post okay so right here we'll add the post by just pushing the new post that we send in into our post array on our store so in our feed.view components, what we're gonna do here is loop through all of this. Okay, so we'll say response dot body dot for each, and right here we'll pass in the current post and our callback. For each of those posts that are in our response, what we're gonna do is just call the store. So this dot store dot commit, and which commit we are trying to commit right here, the mutation was the at post mutation, and the payload or the data that we're passing through to that mutation is the current post right here. So we're calling the mutation as soon as our component is mounted. So let's go ahead and try this out. So right here, this is Emily's profile. I'll just go ahead and create a new post using Emily's profile. And uh, I'll inspect there to make sure that that post is actually created. So my console. So I'll create the post and your post has been published. Okay, so that's been saved to our database. Okay, now I'll head over to my profile and here's my profile. And as soon as I refresh this page, I should actually have a feed and one of the posts in this feed should be the post that Emily actually just created. Okay, so not forgetting to run Gulp. Okay, so let's try that out. So if everything works correctly, as soon as I refresh this page, I should be able to check into my Vuex store and see a new post array. And one of the posts in that array should be a post from Emily. Okay, so let's go ahead and re hit refresh. Okay, so that's refresh and hopefully our components made the Ajax request and in our view tools, we go ahead and check out our view X and right there you see there is a commit that was just committed. Okay, and uh, in our post array, you discover that we have a new object and this object is actually the post that was created by user ID 2. Okay, so Emily created this post and Emily created this post and actually now that we are getting all the, the feed by getting all the posts by our friends. We have the post right here in our post array. Okay, so in the next video, we're actually gonna be displaying our feed so that the user can maybe react to it or do whatever it is that we can make him do.